All right, so it's a couple seconds, a couple minutes, like two minutes there about till the official Karamu deep dive for FC25. And I actually can't wait. There's a lot of stuff that I am so hyped about because I honestly don't care about any of the other modes. I don't care about Ultimate Team. I don't care about clubs. Like, Karamu is mainly what I focus on on my channel, as you guys already know. I saw something earlier today. This. EA Sports Highlighter, a new in-game replay editor coming to FC25. This is insane. How do I unmute a short? Add style with right. this is EA Sports Highlighter, a new replay editor bringing the cinematic power of Frostbite to players. Select a moment in Highlighter and apply camera presets for instantly impressive results. Go beyond presets and explore the action through different camera angles. Add style with filters speed ramps, effects, like it's so edit cool. footage on a timeline, and even create a custom camera for that unbelievable goal. And last but not least, combine everything in Highlighter's photo mode to snap that picture-perfect moment from any angle. Once done, oh, save and share the your video or photo so with That's friends. Going to be so insane. EA Sports Highlighter is here to transform how we watch, create, and share iconic in-game moments. Debuting in EA Sports FC 25 this September. All right. So save the date, September 20th, I, I think. So yeah, that is actually insane. With like, like to be honest, in my opinion, I feel like... Wait, has it started? No, it hasn't. In my opinion, I feel like um, this FC 25 car mode is going to be the best we've ever had since FIFA 14, I think. Because, like, there's so many things that are coming out. It's like... I really can't with like the it's like the overhaul the whole game car mode wise i don't care about what anybody else has to say i i feel like what i have seen and heard so far in terms of car mode is actually worth getting the game for I'm, I'm going to get it either ways all right so i'm just going to like keep quiet for a couple minutes and yeah let's see what we have here you have to go where no one else has gone Career mode in 25 is the most forward thinking in FC history. Real life tactics and situations with live start points, player career with icons, and I'm delighted to introduce women's football to career. Yeah, thanks Mia. Let's get into it. FC 25 marks a new era for both manager and player career. Players will be able to live out real world stories from the biggest leagues in the world with live start points. This is the biggest update we've added to career in years. In FC25, you can experience the drama of any team's real-world season. Pick up from where a team or player has left off that week and you'll have to deal with the related league standings, fixtures, injuries and transfers. Or start from a special snapshot moment, a curated starting point based on a newsworthy situation at a specific club. Be it at a manager sacking, a big transfer, a team overperforming and so on. We've also got loads of new updates across manager mode, driven by FC IQ by way of team tactics and player roles. Player roles add a dimension to tactics beyond player positions and drive success more than ever in career, on and off the pitch. Picking the right player roles is a key factor across player development, staffing, scouting, training and coaching, and it helps fuel and influence player and squad cohesion. Something our community has been asking for is an update to press conferences. Just a couple of questions for oh. We've used FCIQ to change how these work, to make them more dynamic, Reporters will ask questions that are specific to your tactical choices, your players and their roles. Your answers affect the updated morale system, so managers will have to find the right balance between critique and praise. Oh, I feel like that is still going to get old after some time, but it's, it, I mean, it's new, so it's kind of cool. And once you've identified the next big thing, of course, you've got to develop their talent, which is why we've integrated Rush, Rush yeah. 5v5 matches into Youth Academy. By playing in Rush matches, Managers can actively boost youth development over the course of three match tournaments. Win the final, earn the maximum boost, and your next rising star will be that much closer to achieving their first team dream. Watch as your youth squad players physically grow up over the years. We've also added a long requested feature to career gameplay, simulation settings. With it enabled, teams will play a more deliberate style of play, close to what you'd see in a real world football match. Taking it a step further, we've developed a dynamic sim setting the changes aspects of the AI's the, play from uh, one game to the next. So, the quality is so bad though. There's really exciting things happening with 
There's really exciting right, things happening with player career as well. I don't know why I didn't change that since. Now you can take existing icons and put them in any team of your choice. Alright, we already knew that. What's new? What's new? What's new? Excited about this because it unlocks so many new opportunities to evolve career, and we'll have different sets of icons to choose from as the game progresses. In football, a good story is everything. In FC25, we've made it so that players will have more flexibility in setting up their story of their player career. Storylines have expanded to the classic rags to riches story. Climb to the top, following return to glory. Or coming back from a career that was actually really cool though. The story you select will have an impact on and off the pitch. From generating reactions on social media to influencing gameplay attributes and playstyles. Further our commitment to representing women's football within FC. In FC25, we're introducing the world's top five women's leagues into both manager and player career. In manager career, managers will be able to move freely between managing men's and women's teams. And in player career, they can play for any of these top clubs. And finally, across both modes, we've designed a new visual system that has a slicker and more simple UI with a new suggested task list that helps players with their next important decision. And of course, we've upped social media in FC25. Playthroughs are now powered by partnerships with some of the biggest news outlets in football, like Fabrizio Romano, who will be keeping you up to date with all the latest transfer info. I mean, that one in particular well, is really cool. The fans will wonder if you deserve a statue. Play not so great and well, they'll let you know. And that's everything new to Korea in FC25. So there's Ballon d'Or for women as well. World game. Now, what will you do for the club? All right, so... <laughs> all right so i might not be so ecstatic because i've already heard most of this i like they they didn't really say anything new apart from in regards to the things i've already heard before they're also relatively new everything they said is relatively new i like the menus i like the wait i think the premiere is done so i can look at the video normally right all right so live starting points fresh new season that is it's actually a really really cool start and if this is the menu this is absolutely insane because it looks so sick with the um tunnel in the background it just looks so good to be honest so live starting point that is actually a good addition so we can actually start from where the season is in the real world so if i'm Playing Arsenal, and Arsenal is supposed to be Manchester City to win the trophy like in April or something. Then I'm just going to like jump into that moment and then try my best to make sure Arsenal win the trophy. So I guess that they're going to be updating the game like on a weekly basis so that this will actually stay up to date. So that is actually it's actually a really cool feature. And then there are POV cameras. That is really cool. I mean, there there are POV cameras in 24. It's just that um, it was just the referee. But now we have for the player themselves. So if you want to take a free kick, you see the player's point of view, a corner and a goal so i'm pretty sure that in that replace the same thing that i checked out before i came to look at this video i'm pretty sure that there, sh there might also be a pov cam and i absolutely love that thing because it's going to be so good for creators like myself and other creators out there i mean there, there's going to be there's so much that you can do with that it's crazy so fc iq is pretty much the main thing in gameplay changes this year they make it so that you can actually do a lot more with your team than you could do in previous fifa titles sorry in fc titles and honestly i'm kind of confused with the whole player rules thing so chill full crook has poacher attack and st wide midfielder i mean these are the same i mean they're just like instructions there might be more to it than just normal instructions that we know because that's what they said so i mean they haven't really like shown us a lot i mean they, they have shown us what it looks like but like not really in depth so um i guess we're going to have to wait for the game to come out before we actually know exactly how deep this fciq thing is all right so the press conferences they said that they have made it more dynamic according to what is happening in your season and they they've integrated it with fciq kind of so like the press the press will ask you questions based on your um tactics and stuff like that and basically the questions are going to be more dynamic it's a cool thing, but I feel like as dynamic as it could be, I don't think, I mean, known EA Sports, I don't think they have added so much, um, what's the word, dynamism? I don't know what the word is, but like, I don't think they've added so many options. I mean, it's going to be like, it's probably going to be like a lot, but not like, it's not going to be able to like carry the whole span of F25. I'm sure, I'm sure that after like two, three months, it's just going to get old. And lots of people are going to be skipping press conference, but I might be wrong though. They might have hit the ball out of the park. I don't know. But I mean, it's still, it's still a really cool addition with the fact that we don't get to see the same press conference things anymore. Oh, and another thing that they have brought back this time is the um pre-match cutscenes that is the whole walkout thing from the tunnel in previous games we didn't really have them coming out to the tunnel apart from anfield and i think um Bernabeu or wanda metropolitano yes i hope that they've added a lot more stadiums for like the walkout and i hope that they, they actually start the thing from the tunnel because they said that they have 
um, made it longer. So, I mean, it's going to like last for a longer time than what it usually used to. So that is another really cool addition to the game, even though it's more like they brought it back, but like they added, they improved on it basically. And the rush thing, that is another really cool thing in the tournament because I mean, we're no longer just looking at our, our youth players and just um, hoping that they grow to um, 70 rated players or 60 something rated players so that we can bring them to the team. We can actually like actively be involved in their growth in terms of the rush 5v5 thing. And that is actually, that that is actually a really good addition. I feel like they've added so much. I don't know whether it's because of the competition from um, UFC, no, wait, what? UFL or the new FIFA 2K that's coming out. Definitely not eFootball. But <laughs> I really like the fact that they have gone this far. But then this could all just be marketing, to be honest. And I really hope that they have actually gone this far and they actually release a game that's actually going to impress us a lot. And then for player car mode, we have the origin stories. That is absolutely cool. So I saw a bunch of them here when I was watching the video the first time. I, I can't remember any of them, to be honest. I know that, um, okay, so great expectations. You grew up in a high achieving football family. Success wasn't just hoped for. It was expected of you, demanded even on a journey shaped by elite level training, blah, blah, blah. So the first one is you grow up in a family that is all about football, blah, blah, blah. And you have to, you have to succeed. Kind of like, is it Rini Toshi? Kind of like Rini Toshi in Blue Lock. Is it Rin? I think there's someone else that, um, is like that. Is it Hiyori? I think. Then climb to the top. You've had to battle all the way to this elite level, driven by raw talent, burning ambition, and a passion for the game. You've risen from humble beginnings, falling in love with football on the street and on the dirt. So this is basically a street person who came up from humble beginnings, not really a rich person. You're pretty dirt poor and you found your passion for football and then you start to play you get found by scouts or something like that and you grow up so that is another one of the storylines and then return to glory you tasted live uh, you've tasted life at the top playing at big clubs alongside top players until a car 30 injury stuck struck one nobody expected you to come back from but now after a month of hard work recovering and this one you've already like started you're already like a really top player but something happened to you and now you've come back and you have to like work your way back to where you were before so that i'm definitely going to be playing every single one of these and then social media we have the athletic we have the premier league social media that's cool so we get the team of the week on that one looking at it right now this might be in the game like this might be how it is in the game and you get to like scroll through and all and it's actually really cool i mean it's going to be so cool to look at this i, I would probably spend like a couple minutes looking at this stuff just because it looks so cool and it's so new um they have fc footy and then we also have um, fabrizio romano as well i don't know why they didn't show that they said it but i don't think um i might have clocked it the second time around so women's football there's going to be um the same car move thing but like a woman all right so that's the end of the video if you have enjoyed it make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already comment what you think is your favorite feature in the car mode thing that i just brought out in case you guys haven't heard about it before or something like that just let me know which one you like the most like which are the features you like the most whether it's in player career or it's a manager career so anyways i'll see you guys in my next video peace